Hello guys, Vizarish here bringing you another Total War Warhammer replay with commentary. For today I thought uh, to myself that I should bring uh, some units that I think uh, in the next patch um, should or could t uh, get some changes um, and as, um, as you guys are seeing my army here I brought a lot of poison melee units with poison. So with the latest patches, um, range units that had poison, they used to poison their own units if they shot um, into back of their units or into the blob. And if the arrows hit their units, uh, they're, they're, um, the, those guys would get poisoned as well. So uh, in one or two patches ago, that got changed and that made a lot of factions really strong, especially factions with a lot of range units who have access to poison like Bretonians and um, Greenskins uh, and uh, even Wood Elves but um, yeah CA in the latest patch changes changed the poison um, application and not the application the effect it now uh, only reduces uh, the stats by 15% all the stats it used to but that uh, caused a lot of discussion about melee units so a lot of melee units with poison uh, are not um, performing that well i p picked all of them uh, in dark elf roster um i i think i missed one the cauldron also ca uh, causes poison and it's already really weak unit and so yeah i thought um we're gonna uh, i'm gonna bring them and see how they perform in this uh, quick battle and talk about them uh, some and uh, I have seen some changes to the Dark Earth roster that I'm going to talk about here. Some of the units I already have here, some of them don't. Uh, so the first units that got changed are these um, Dressby Regiment of Renown, the Hellebroni. These guys uh, used to cost 700 gold, but um, now they cost 50 gold less, so six, uh, 650 here. Uh, Dread Spears, uh, no change. I haven't been able to see any Scourge Runner changes. The Bleak Swords haven't got any change. Um, I, I, I don't think Dread Spears got any as well. But the Sisters of Slaughter got a slight buff there in the one of the streams that I've seen. I think it was Anticity stream. Uh, these uh, girls have um, 39 melee uh, attack and... 58 melee defense so uh, a small um, buff to their stats i haven't been able to see their missile resistance or uh, their uh, physical resistance so uh, everything uh, looks the same the other units that i don't have right here um, but they've received some changes as well are the um, um, witch elves uh, especially the sisters of singing doom uh, i've seen uh, because of the changes to rampage now it uh, increases melee attack by 10 uh, they uh, got three less melee attack so uh, that's something to keep in mind um, overall i think they received one melee attack nerf I, i'm not sure why they don't perform that well uh, they're usually just there for their poison so i don't know if their uh, madness of cain got any um, changes or not uh, i'm not sure the other units that uh, got changed, I'm, I'm, I've already talked a lot without showing you guys any gameplay, so I'm just going to jump into that. But uh, the range units got some buffs, um, specifically the handbow variants of Dread, um, the uh, Black Oak Corsairs. They have one more uh, missile strength. The, uh, the other unit, um, hi hybrid unit that got one more missile strength is the uh, Shades. Uh, and uh, by the way Charybdis and Hydra both of them got some uh, melee defense buff uh, I think melee, uh, if you've seen Zerkovich's uh, video um, Charybdis has 38 uh, or 36 I'm not sure about that or in between melee defense so some uh, good um, melee defense buff and they got 50 uh, gold uh, buff they're they're now 50 gold cheaper hydra also got some melee defense buff i'm not sure how much but it's around the same uh six or eight uh, and they also got a 50 gold reduction 
I don't think I'm missing anything and as I said I haven't uh, been able to get my hands on the uh, the uh, newest patches the beta patches that some of the content creators have access to so um, if I did I would have listed all of the changes but right now that's it so <laughs> I hope that's enough and uh, if I see any more, I'll, I'll be sure to uh, tell you guys. So let's just jump into the battle for my, um, as I said, this is just all the units with poison. I have some units just uh, to be chaps. Otherwise I could have, I wouldn't have any chance of winning. I have two Doomfire Warlocks, um, two uh, melee poison units. Uh, I have uh, two Dread Spears, one of them the Regiment of Renown, Talibroni. A unit of bleak swords, black of corsairs with one chevron, sisters of slaughter, uh, the ravagers of Rakat, which is another unit with poison, and I think that's it for my army. Yeah, um, for infantry, I mean. Uh, uh, Charybdis here, uh, we also have one, we, uh, which is another unit with poison and is melee. Uh, the trio poison causing uh, squish unit. We have Death Hag uh, with nothing. Uh, she's uh, naked here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna see how she performs. K Knight Assassin, really good unit, especially with her with his high uh, missile strength uh, and um, the Web of uh, Shadows. He also has a decent um, debuff. Uh, Hellebron, I think I brought um, her Blood Frenzy, Curse Blades. Heroic Clearing Blow, Witch Brew, and uh, Gaze of Cain. So that's it for my army. For my opponent here, he has three units of Baywatchers, so really expensive range units here. Two Eternal Guards, uh, uh, Glade Lord here, uh, Glade La Lady to be specific, with Prey of Anatrema, Arrow of Kurnus, and Eye of Kurnus. Uh, we have Ariel hiding in the forest, uh, she's hidden, two eternal guard with shields protecting her. We also have two uh, great sag knights uh, deep in the, um, I don't know, is this vanguard or I don't know. <laughs> the, I wasn't able to see them for a long time. So yeah, uh, two um, <laughs> weird army from me and my opponent here and we're gonna start the battle and see how we're gonna do here. Interestingly enough, my uh, build uh, and my opponent's uh, unit counts uh, have the same numbers, uh, more or less. And uh, so, yeah, I, I didn't think I can um, win any matchups with this army. But with this army, we, we kind of have, uh, have a chance here. So, understandably, I was going for some skirmish, But uh, now the Waywatcher started shooting. And that's, I mean, I have to run away. Uh, I think this is um, the dwellers from below going down. I was able to dodge that. Let's see the um, spells uh, that her, uh, Ar uh, Ariel has up to bring. She has her berry wine, item, tempest, apotheosis, dwellers below, a greater Ar arcing conduit, wrath of the wood, and ancient protection with uh, life. So she has a lot of. Uh, winds of magic and a lot of um, uh, damage dealing spells here she can use them really well healing everything uh, the uh, slanches harvesters uh, going for a quick charge and they're gonna now try to disengage from ariel and her guard there the uh, infantry moving in caused the range units from my opponent to start running away but that means i'm gonna catch them with my doomfire warlocks and uh, yeah these guys are uh are decent enough uh, <laughs> so not bad they cast their soul blight as well which reduces armor to zero i'm not sure if that's good or not uh, because i think i'm gonna waste my 13 uh, armor piercing weapon damage but i think i'm gonna uh, do fine with the other uh, normal uh, weapon damage there so uh, Crone Hellebron and these uh, Scientist Harvesters, which is a uh, really unlikely alliance. Um, I don't think uh, Hellebron is ever going to work with these as uh, Harvesters, but um, I don't know. <laughs> They're doing it now. We were able to catch uh, Glade Lord here, and now 
the assassin is here as well using her his web of shadows i think and that means uh, glade lord is not gonna be uh for this world much longer so slash is uh i mean uh, doom for warlocks cleaning up some uh way watchers which is a really uh good trait here my opponent cab got here too late i'm not sure what they're uh chasing here they're killing something but i'm not sure some some dread spears he he should have brought them in sooner so and uh, as we are seeing here not a lot remaining for my opponent here the uh, Sanctious Harvesters, Charybdis and uh, the Goon Squad are here to finish Ariel which is a lovely sight for me I love to see her get destroyed uh, yeah even though my opponent has some units remaining um, I'm not sure he has a lot of steam to continue this battle some full uh, hp great sag knights are joining in the fight but i'm not sure if the if they're gonna be enough we'll see we'll see so uh we were able to kill the leadership of my uh, opponent's army here uh, he doesn't have any lords any casters uh, i didn't bring any casters as well so <laughs> that's a bonus for my opponent but now uh ravagers of rakarth shooting some great sag knights the um, characters are gonna get in first and with the Charybdis and uh, Sanctious Harvesters piling in uh, I don't think the great uh, yeah my opponent just uh, decided to give up so uh, yeah kind of a short fight uh, this was just a video I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want it to showcase the um, gameplay as much as just talk about the changes I have noticed and uh, yeah talk to, talk about uh, the issue that um, next patch factions with melee uh, poison might um, encounter, like uh, Dark Elves. We'll see. Um, maybe Hellebr I'm not. Uh, as I said, I haven't noticed uh, any changes to Hellebron or Cauldron of Blood yet. But we'll see. Uh, a lot of these units need help. I mean, uh, Slanish's Harvesters are fine. They usually shine um, because they have soul stealer they have word of pain and their stats are decent but with a uh, poison nerf their survivability drops a bit so i hope they get com uh, compensated a bit uh, but in regard to uh, the uh, doomfire warlocks i think they they were in need of help even before the poison changes so i hope they get something in return otherwise i don't know that's gonna be painful uh, Sisters, as I said already in the start of the video, they already got some buffs. Uh, I hope they got their missile resistance back. I don't know. They, these guys uh, have a lot of weaknesses. Um, clean charge, uh, focus fire from range units, and magic just destroys them uh, even before they can get into the um, melee fights. So I hope they get some um, other stuff be beside that uh, three stats that they got uh hello uh they got price nerf so we'll see how they perform the rest uh yeah i'm not sure the c uh, changes to curb this and hydra might be a welcome one uh these guys uh also had a lot of um problems they really uh, um encounter problems where th where in where they're in tick of the fight so infantry with uh, just a little bit of anti lurch just destroy them because they have a uh, really low melee defense and um, leadership they just route in before they can get their full heal so yeah we'll see uh, i'm really excited about the silent and the fury just uh i'm just a bit sad that i can't um uh, be one of the other content creators that can already um uh, you see the units uh, and stuff yeah i would have just made a patch note myself that's uh, that's how i am i love to see the changes and uh, just look for them and stuff so yeah that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did i would really appreciate it if you guys consider leaving a like and subscribing it would really help me and my channel grow i upload videos daily so stay tuned for that as well uh, i have a discord server if you guys want to chat hang out talk about uh, changes and builds and stuff uh, you can find me um, there the link is in the description by the way so that's it catch you all later bye